Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today is Friday, April 26, 2013. I hope everyone had a great trading week. Uh, it was fantastic for me. Let's do a quick, 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 quick review update uh, for the week. Uh, let's go over the SPY. First thing I always go over, I called yesterday for, in my video, you guys can check that out uh, and kind of just see if I'm, um, test me out and see how I'm doing here. Called for a neutral to uh, slightly negative uh, day, and that's exactly what we got. We also got a doji as well, so let's see if we can uh, fill this uh, chart in uh, that I predicted uh, right from when we made that p uh, pivot over here. Uh, as long, it still hasn't showed our pattern, believe it or not, it's, as long as you don't take out this high. So it's, it's still a lower high here, so let's see if we start coming down uh, in the coming uh, coming days and to next week. Uh, let's look at intraday. We did get a nice bounce off gap fill. Played that beautifully. Uh, stuck some nice profits into my pocket here. Uh, this was this was very important uh, support for the market to hold, and we did get some uh, some pretty deep selling here at the at the end of the day. So let's see if this is just a bearish retracement from this high, and let's pull let's pull a fib. It looks like a 382 uh, from what I'm eyeing right now. And sure enough, yeah, 50% retrace actually uh, into this. Uh, I don't know where this trend line came from. Hmm, interesting. Uh, but sure enough, it looks like it perhaps could be it broke this trend and it's retesting here to go higher. Or uh, maybe it'll retrace a little bit higher before falling. Or this could be the uh, next move uh, down on the intraday charts. But um, like I said, I took the gap fill here. I took profits right into this trend line here. Uh, right as into strength right here. So if I would have held it all day, it would have been flat. So. That was a pretty decent trade right there, uh, scalp on the SPY. Uh, let's go to the next chart, uh, Amazon. As you guys know, I did Amazon uh, puts, and sure enough, I did call as well. I did call for a fall here as well, guys. Uh, so check out my la last video. I said that this could fall, and it was in this uh, kind of in this uh, third hit of this trend line, and that was ahead of earnings as well. So. That kind of tells you right there. Charts are absolutely king, and I did sell the 330 upside calls and to 220, 215 puts down here. So sure enough, I collected premium on both sides. Uh, feels good to be uh, just banging out of the, knocking out of the ballpark every time. So uh, Amazon's still in this range here, but you can't ignore these big, big, big wide range bars that we're getting after earnings. We got this uh, last or last time they report earnings in uh, uh, late. January and we're getting the same same deal. So it's really slowing out consolidating here in this kind of wide range right now on Amazon. So uh, let's see if the 200 holds with this uh, kind of neckline on this three falling, falling peaks pattern. Uh, if this uh, breaks it, you're heading to these next levels right here at 242 and then ultimately it'll test this more macro trend line right here. Okay guys, uh, so those are your levels on Amazon to keep an eye on. Let me actually grab a fib and see where where it goes on from this pivot right here. Let's see, let me make that red so you can kind of see it more clearly. Um, for right now, uh, let's take a look. It looks like the 618 is at this uh, pivot low. So this is going to be actually really strong support. So if it, if, if it hits here uh, next week, early next week, I'll be selling uh, out of the money puts below this uh, right here. Maybe on some heavy volume. Uh, maybe the premium, premium gets pumped on uh, the 240 level. I will definitely look to sell. Even though the ultimate target is 220, uh, I think 240 will be a nice spot to start nibbling on some uh, uh, shorting some uh, puts here below these levels. Okay, uh, I think the, I think that'll be a decent trade. Uh, let's go to Apple. Apple showed a little bit of strength today, uh, intraday. So we'll see. This is a make or break right here, believe it or not. Uh, a lot of people are thinking Amazon's, uh, I'm sorry, Apple is going to turn around here. Let's take, let's look at. It. I mean, we are in in a downtrend still. Okay, right, uh, right into a downtrend, right into a 20 moving average. So let's see if the sellers step in here. Okay, because this is a nice inside bar pattern. This was your previous uh, 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 support. Now it's resistance. So. This is a true test right now. I'm going to call it right now. So let's make a break here. Let's see if we break through it. Sideways consolidation here or we come right down because this is an inside bar pattern. Let's grab a fib from this recent high as well and see we're into a 75% retrace. Uh, so this is a decent spot. Okay, see, let's see if the sellers start to come in here. Okay, this is a really decent spot because you have the pattern. You have the trend on your side. You have the declining 20. You have 6.8 retrace. You have this previous, uh, you know, Previous support now resistance. Okay, so let's see uh, if the sellers come in here and take this. Let me take the measure move. The measure move actually is, would now is now changed. Uh, roughly, it would be roughly in the 370s when I'm eyeing right now. Okay, but uh, I did 250, uh, 350, 330 puts this week. 
uh, the collected premium on those beautifully. So let's see where Apple takes us from now. I think it's make or break right now. Let's see uh, where it goes from right here. Let's look at the GLD. GLD, I've been calling that it would head for this gap fill. Sure enough, I thought it would probably base here a little bit longer, but we didn't get that. We got uh, three days of consolidation, which is the minimum pretty much. Same thing with gold. You're into a downtrend, into a 20 moving average, gap fill. So that was my uh, call that ever since we made that doji can on the weekly chart. So all these calls, guys, have been just spot on. Okay, and then don't take my word for it. Go back into these. Uh, go back to my old videos and uh, and check it out. Uh, I've been calling this uh, doji candle on the weekly chart, huge volume. That this would be a short-term low, and now we close, technically close above it. So that's now confirmation, We're closing above a, a, a hammer candle on the weekly print. So uh, beautiful stuff there, guys. Let's see where else uh, I'd like to take a look at today. Uh, the IWM. Also, I, the reason why a beautiful call as well. The IWM. The reason why I called out the I, uh, a pullback, a pullback, sorry, and a neutral to negative day was were also into this trend line. So when you line up multiple charts, indexes with uh, resistance, key resistance levels, uh, they do come to play. Uh, they come, to, they come to fruition very often. Okay. Check out my uh, previous videos. I called that as well. So pretty much every chart I looked at, I pretty much nailed. Uh, let's go to uh, price line and see what's up with that uh, price line not much doing there still holding uh, this uh, trend line here Google Google I said nothing much going there you wouldn't you don't want to be chasing it two days ago and sure enough uh, it's been pulling back okay guys see all the people chasing over here just uh, getting a pretty pretty big paper, paper cut right now oh what else what else what else we want to look at buddies let's go um, not much you know I'm pretty Pretty happy this week. Did very well. Profits in the pockets. Never wrong with that. Uh, the Q is just holding steady here in this upper levels. Uh, let's see where it goes from here, guys. I think uh, the market should pull back here just because, you know, we're, we've had a nice move already into a time count. So if you're bullish, you want to see a nice pattern here. Not too steep. Maybe, a, you know, in this upper range here, that's what you want to see. Hold As long as it holds this level here and starts to build a base sideways here, consolidation, uh, I think I'll build enough energy to bust through this. But... Uh, I'm still in the camp where potentially it could still make this head and shoulders as long as you don't take out this high. If we start taking out this high, start making a base here or here, um, then I'll have a different uh, different bias. But right now, uh, it is what it is, the chart, so we'll see where it uh, goes from there. I'm going to leave this here, head and shoulder top forming, because uh, it still technically still can form this. Okay, guys. All right. It's been good talking to you guys. Hope you guys have a great weekend, uh, have a great weekend guys, and I will talk to you guys next time.